Yo, good morning everybody. Good morning from Portland. We're crossing the bridge right now. I'm getting the hang of driving this big old bus. Uh, we got Michael, Navigation Knower, in the back. What are you doing back there? I think he's up to some... I think he's up to some mischief. posing with them. I yeah. baked them. These are, by the way, the best cookies ever. My mom uh, used to make me these, and then I actually made the recipe better. I put sea salt on top. It's really good. You like I, them? Yeah, I tried one. <laughs> they're actually really good. Not Sweet. actually. They are really good. Yeah, nice. Well, <laughs> let's go make some friends and pass out some cookies, because that's what I made them for. Hey, you guys want some cookies? I love some cookies. All right, here. <laughs> they, they are pumpkin chocolate oh, chip. Beautiful. Thank with you. sea salt Are on top. Right Maybe I'll have half Not live. Life. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. On yep. Take a take a whole one. Take a half. Whatever floats your boat. There's plenty here, so. I'm going for half. We'll, we'll All right. Make sure there's enough oh for goodness. What do we think? What do we think? You like that? Cookie. Yeah, thank you. Sent me photos and he's like, dude, I found a good bus. And I'm like, no, you didn't. He's like, yeah, dude. And he sent me photos and I'm like, dude, that thing is so clean. Like, there's yeah. no way. They must be like some staged photos or something. So but, scale of one to ten, how clean are we in the uh, bus? I, I've personally never seen a frame this clean that's like what is this an o2 yeah i mean it's it's still got full black coating on it like crazy I, right? you can you i think you said in a previous video you can eat off the engine yeah we could make breakfast off an engine and serve it to people like it yeah. would pass health codes yeah it's it's clean yeah i think so too um and we got a couple uh viewers that came down you guys want to introduce yourselves I'm Nate. cool Derek. sweet thanks for coming down guys yep. appreciate it thanks for being here <laughs> my pleasure but okay, so we have a nice backdrop of people, but um, please introduce yourself. My name is Shauna. Shauna. Yes. Shauna is a perfect example of a very kind person who came down and, you know, just uh, hanging out with all of us, checking out our rigs. Do you want to get a van or a bus at some point? You have one. This is my little hoopty, yes. <laughs> Should we do a quick van tour? Is it built out? It's. Yeah, it's it's not that old. But I mean, it's built out though, I mean, right? I haven't had it that long. Well, kind of, sorta, yes. This is great. This is so stealth because I didn't even realize it was like a, a van life van. This is a retired USPS van that I took in partial trade for my vintage motorhome that wound up being a big old money pit. Oh well, yeah. So yeah, it's <laughs> less stuff, less stuff, less stuff to bring. So, oh, that's awesome. So yeah. That's I've fantastic. Got, funny thing. So I've got, this is actually extremely comfortable. Okay. And I've got this, and underneath I have five five-gallon buckets. Okay. That um, basically support it. Support it, yeah. Uh -huh. And storage too, right? Oh yeah, mega storage. Mm -hmm. I, I use those, put my that's, stuff in it. Yeah. That's, that's very ingenious. Yeah, and I've, I've got a little DVD player in here too that I can play. I've got a, a, Fun. a, a deep cell battery yep. with a converter up underneath over here. Here, I'll show you. Okay. This is, this is so amazing. I had no idea there was a built-out van in this uh, little, was it Little Windstar? Yeah. 
1998 Ford Windstar. It has 90,000 miles on it. Yes! I love it! Excuse the mess here. Oh, no, no, I mean, mine yeah. gets... Oh, my bananas. Those, that's where they went. Oh, yeah. good lord. Mine anyway. had the same issue. Yeah, I see your little battery there. Yeah, there's my battery. My converter's on the other side, yep. hiding back mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And when I have my kitty, I have an 18-year-old cat. Oh, wow. That likes to ride with me. Cool. Yeah, so that's her little section down there where and we have her cat box. Are you doing full-time, or is this like Not an adventure? Not right now. Okay. Not right now. Um... I was kind of thrown into this. Okay. So, uh, which I've been watching you. I've been watching Carolyn RV. I love her. I love you too. Oh, but, thank you. you. Know, I've been watching you guys and realizing to myself, I spent a lot of years in real estate managing apartment communities. Yep. Been putting, there, done that. Putting people out. Yeah. Putting people out on the streets. Mm -hmm. And, you know, not being that nice person that I know that I am. And I thought, you know what? I'm sick and tired of making other people rich. Yeah. That fifteen hundred dollars a month for rent for a one bedroom apartment is ridiculous. This thing is probably <laughs> valued at two hundred bucks, but hey, I don't pay rent. That's amazing. It's bought and paid for. Yeah, you insurance. Know, that's it. There was, uh, yeah, when we were filling up earlier um, at the gas station, uh, we said, "Oh yeah, it's my bus, and I'm gonna live in this and that." The guy said, "Oh man, you're so smart. I paid twenty two hundred bucks, and it just disappears. <laughs> All that money goes to somebody's." Uh, country club membership dues yep. or something, yep. right? Lines it's mm -hmm. so it's easier to spend half as much mm -hmm. than it is to earn twice as much. Absolutely, you can put more in savings and you can have more fun with life. Awesome. It's all good. Oh, let's hug it out. Oh, <laughs> that's right. so cool. <laughs> all right, so uh, met up with uh, Michael from uh, Oregon, and Michael, what did you recently purchase here? Um, put you an MCI 579. Mm hmm. And it's a uh, Saudi edition, so it has the door in the back, which annoyed me because all the Saudis don't like women walking past them, so they had insisted on MCI building a middle door so the women wouldn't have to walk past them and use the back door. <laughs> which really caused me a lot of extra work. <laughs> so there was a, so the women essentially had to use the back door then, and the men were in the front, front huh? Yeah, and women couldn't, can't walk past them for some reason. Yeah. Something to do with that Islamic stuff, <laughs> which is crazy to me. Yeah, interesting. But it has this double roof on it, which is. But they said this sat in an orchard for about five or six years. Yeah. And under there, there's all kind of debris, and I have no idea how to get it out. It's a very long toothbrush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is the front door. I'm going to weld the actual door together, maybe 16 gauge. Your friend said. Uh huh. And make it one piece, so I can just open and close it. So that's just makeshift right there. I guess a company purchased it from a place in Pennsylvania mm -hmm. and they turned it into a games lab. You know, drive it around to parties and had all kinds of computer stuff in it. Oh, that's fun. But it was all ripped out, seats had to be ripped out. <laughs> Slowly but surely, it's coming together. Nice. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> well, join, join the club. <laughs> I always wanted to meet Pandemonian, and I, you know, it's so weird meeting you folks because <laughs> you follow you, and then here you are. Here we are. Ho person. Hopefully, just like we are in the videos. <laughs> <laughs> you will have a cracked screen by the time you get through. Yeah. And this is this is part of the uh, kitchen. I'm going to have a small refrigerator in there. Fantastic. Maybe not drawing too much power. I picked this up at the Goodwill for three dollars. <laughs> nice. They wheeled it out, and it's like IKEA. I That's said, great. Well, how much that is? Three dollars. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the stove's going to be. Yeah. Great. But I'm, I'm not going to have a propane propane stove. I'm going to have one of those yeah. electrical things. The less yeah. propane in the in the cab. Yeah. It's probably the better way to go. Thanks for coming down, dude. Really appreciate it. And uh, cookies, man. <laughs> yeah, and uh, what, what's your channel? Clear Ski the Creeper. Check me out. Love to have you aboard. Creepers Perfect. Forever. All right, man. Good See you, dude. We have, we have an official truck driver giving me a tour of how to uh, pump down my uh, air brakes here. It looks like he's going to fire it up. Where are your... There's the air tanks up there. Is that it? Yep. All right, so... We want to make sure that, so when you start to lose air pressure, you're, there's a certain point, and I believe it's going to probably be right around either just above the 60 or in that, in that range. Mm -hmm. So is this level? Mm, yeah, kind of. I'm a little weary about disengaging your brakes yeah, and it's not rolling. Quite low. Okay. Oh, okay, um, yeah, maybe not then. 
So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to depress this, which you'll hear that break go. go right. You're going to want to be on a level surface, and you're going to want to simply just depress your break, and you're going to hear the pss. And all you're doing is you're lowering your pressure. And now if this is engaged, if this is disengaged, and this is this is functioning correctly, at a point of it's been a little while. At a certain point, you'll get down, your alarm will pop on, you'll hear a, a beeping sound, mm -hmm. very loud noise, and then at a certain point, I think it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 or 40, this should pop out, okay? That is the indication that if it does not pop out, you have an issue, okay? So what that does is, so when you're driving down the road and this thing starts to leak, and you don't realize it or whatever, it's a safety measure and it will pop out and it will lock you up and that'll stop you from careening off the road. That's why on the on the freeways you see those big trucker like screech. Yeah. Uh, okay. Or you see the big gravel pits where yep. they lose their brakes coming down the road because they burn them out because they, they're too hot or they're, you know, you put too much pressure on them. Uh, a pump down test is simulating that. So you depress it, press it, and it'll, the alarm will kick on. It'll go to a certain point and it'll pop out on you. And then you're good to go. Then you build it back up. You get past outside the red zone and you pick it up back up to 120 and then you're good to go. Sweet, man. Dude, you could have you could have saved my life with this small explanation. So thank you very much. No problem. Uh, well, okay, first of all, what's the name of the, the rig? You know what? I don't have a name yet. I mean, I know that's a horrible... Uh, thing but I, I don't have a name for it yet all right oh uh, mystic hot springs is a great place oh man that place yeah. is amazing and, and um, for everyone who uh doesn't know would you please uh let uh, introduce yourself the name and channel yeah my name is paul barger and that's also the name of my channel it's paul barger on youtube and uh, i'm a van lifer and uh i live out of this rv converted bread truck full-time so <laughs> and how long you been doing that i left uh full-time october 20th 2017 Cool. So I've been at it for a year, or no, nine months. Yeah. Something. And something be like before six, seven, eight months. Before that, what were you doing? I was a full time. Uh, I was a deli manager at a grocery store down south. Uh, so, where did you used to be a deli manager or something? I delivered tortillas. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> several grocery stores. Yes. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I was a uh, department manager at a grocery store, and cool. I worked there for about ten years, and. Uh, I just had enough and changed up my whole life and decided to do this. So. And how's it been um, so far? Oh, Any regrets? No, no regrets. I have no regrets whatsoever. Now, on a ha uh, how's your happiness account been going? Not like your money account, bank account, but like, yeah. you know, like before, where was it and where is it now? Uh, it was pretty low before. Um, and my career, I don't want to make a, I don't want to be a downer or anything, right. but my career did end at that place because I lost my dog and uh, that was like my best buddy yeah. uh, he was like my first real dog that was all mine and when I lost him I just kind of reevaluated what I was doing in life and decided to make a huge change he made a huge change in my life yeah. for the positive so yeah. I decided to do that again and you know yeah. go yeah. out on the road and do this and so you've been pretty happy then yeah definitely I mean you know I miss my dog, but yeah. aside from that, uh, <laughs> it, uh, it's so much better than working that job that was like yeah. draining. My We're soul. Working to pay the bills, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, could we get a quick tour? I know this is yeah. like the power setup, so yeah. So uh, this is um, it's kind of hard to see because I started building my closet over it, but yep. it's a little messy right now. I got to neaten it up, but this has just been completed recently. Cool. I got 380 hours of battery bank. I got a 2,000 watt power inverter that also is a charger, so I can plug in the sh shore power, mm -hmm. and a uh, MPPT controller. So Sweet. That's great. I can run my office back here. Um, this wow. Is... It has a desktop yes. for, mo for mobile computing in a van. That's amazing. Yeah, I have a full desktop. <laughs> um, you know, it's pretty recent. I mean, this is like a 2017 Beats by Dre desktop so it's a pretty powerful computer and i like using it for video yeah. editing and stuff so yeah. i just built this apparatus where it's like locked yeah. in here yeah and, well, uh, it's so yeah. stealthy you would never know and i like the height in here too yeah. if you guys can't see i'm, I'm six one and i got plenty of room but i like how stealthy it is on the outside it just looks like a like a bread truck yeah and then it's it's totally basic and plain it's outside. like a little new york city apartment like if anybody's <laughs> from new york city how much would this cost like 
And this yeah. guy's living life here, like, rent-free. I love this. This is 112 square feet. So, I mean, that's a pretty big uh, studio apartment if you uh, take it into, like, New York City. Right? I mean, know, we're talking, decent, like, a, you know? like, a thousand or more in New York City, right? For, yeah. for something this space. Yeah. That's yeah. incredible. Look at so, that. And a lot, this whole side is all to be completed. Yeah, I understand. Um, yep. This will be kitchen. Uh, this will be from here forward will be bathroom. Oh, nice. Um, those are water tanks. I just have to install yeah. a bunch of stuff. So hey. I have two 46 gallon tanks. I hear you. One will be fresh, one will be gray. Yep. Uh, I do some dumpster diving. So I just, this is my <laughs> kitchen countertop I just found. Nice. It is a butcher block on one end, countertop here. Repurposing. So, very yeah. ingenious. Um, my whole office and my solar box here. I like, built this little flip out table. Oh, nice. Um, this is all built from a dumpster that. Or a uh, dresser that I found in the dumpster. Perfect. Yeah. So, yeah. Nothing. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I, I like the character of the stuff too. <laughs> I, I think it looks cool. And, yeah. You know, oh, it has a story too. Yeah. Like yeah, I Definitely. found this behind a Walmart or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was in Anaheim after I went to Disneyland. See, and, there we go. <laughs> it was, right. It was from like a shopping mall. So, yeah. That's. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Down here, I also picked a bunch of wooden drawers. They're solid wood. So yeah. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install them in my closet over there. Really? So, I like um, it. I'll have a couple drawers here that'll slide out, and then over there I'll have a couple. Than cool. That. And then so. if anybody wants to know what the front looks like, got the nice stick shift device here. <laughs> and then the, the front is low priority, so the, I haven't done very the, much. Also known as stealthy, because like no <laughs> one would ever suspect someone is like literally living in a panel van bread truck. So cool, man. Thanks for the tour. <laughs> Thanks. Bye guys. Bye. Thanks for coming down. Thank you for having us. My and the how are, cookies. How are the cookies? They're amazing. Are Absolutely. you just saying that or is that the truth? I'm not BSing, oh. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> so Bye. good. Alright. See ya. Bye. So we're gonna get a quick tour of Jed and Evie's uh, pop top um, Chevy Express. High top. High top, High thank top. you. Not a pop top. Um, so Chevy got, Express extended. Ex Thank you. Yes. Extended. <laughs> um, and, for, and if you guys don't know these guys, hit the subscribe button. Super rad people. Um, great, authentic van lifers. So what do we have here, first of all? 1997 Chevy Express Cargo extended with a 24-inch double bubble high top from Fiberine. Fiberine, yes. Double bubble. Say that like five times. Like double bubble, double bubble. I didn't even know I could say all that. that double fast, bubble. So I'm really yeah. impressed with myself right now. And the bubble top, bubble top, high top was a recent addition. Mm -hmm. In like December, yeah, so like five months now. Was that hard to install? We didn't install it. We didn't install it, they didn't install it for us. Yeah. yeah. It would have been though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you have to cut the whole roof. And, I mean, you could, you could have done it, but the high top itself is so heavy that you would need a, like a, some sort of crane or something to put it up there. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, you need a crane or a lot of friends. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, because uh, ours actually had wood inlays in there, so the whole, the whole top is to have half an inch plywood in there, mm. and then two by fours on the side so we can like put cabinets in there we can drill holes we can put 350 pounds of stuff on top of it if we want to yeah. so that's um, cool so it's very reinforced and very heavy <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah. all right so uh can i follow you into the van yeah. you want to give, yeah. give me a tour I will let you kind of go back yeah. there, and I'll go right here. Welcome to nice. the crib. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. sweet. <laughs> LED lights. LED we lights, got fairy lights. Fairy lights. There's lights, so I have a bunch of different lights. Mm -hmm. um, we can just have here, I guess, the kitchen. This is our kitchen, and then we have this table that pops up like that for more counter space. Excellent. We have our sink, just regular kitchen faucet, and then uh, you put this on, turn it on, and it's running water mm -hmm. in there. And then and here we have our tanks. We have clear water, gray water, and then the pump is back all the way down there. Just a Amazon electric pump mm -hmm. that we got. Excellent. And then on this side, we have our slide-in garbage can. I need one of those on my next one. And then <laughs> so we're like silverware in here, and then some canned food. And then over here, we keep our cooktop, which is induction. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of dirty. So <laughs> you, guys, dirty. <laughs> you guys run that off of uh, the lithium uh, battery in here? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it takes quite a bit of power, so we use it if we know we're going to be driving or something, then we'll use it. At nighttime, if we park at nighttime, we're already, like, we're not going to go anywhere. We try not to use it only because it will take a lot of power so yeah. we might not have enough power left over for the fridge or something yeah. by the morning time mm -hmm. um, but 
in that case, if like our battery is low, I have a little uh, this thing that uh, thing plugs into it, and you can cook on top. Excellent. It's kind of like an emergency thing. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, so in our induction cooktop works amazing, boils water very quickly, and then it just... And then you have to use a special pot for those too, right? Or a pan? Yeah, Is that right? Like yeah, like stainless steel stainless works steel. really well. I think there's a couple other metals that do too. Yeah. Anything magnetic. Cool. Because it works yeah. with like magnets somehow. I'm not sure how that works. So, so. <laughs> interesting. Yeah. I heard about it recently and I was like, so what? This is our... yeah, that's weird kitchen. We usually we have paper towels here, but I'm mm -hmm. out. And then I put this thing in here. Not too long ago, we when we were in San Diego, we stayed at our subscriber's house for a little bit, and uh, she was going to throw it away, and I told her no, so I painted it and well it on here so I can I keep my no. big things. <laughs> nice. So, Excellent. Yeah, and then out here we have our pantry of all of our food, and then down there, like, extra pots and pans. It's kind of a messy right now. Yeah, but, I understand. And then out here we have our fridge that slides nice. out. Nice. And it's a Dometic, like that, and then it opens up, mm -hmm. so... Yep, it works great. The railings. I, yeah, don't do the railings unless you get like super uh, like sealed bearing ones. These things get dirt in them all the time, so I constantly have to clean them out and relube them, and it's, it's a total gotcha. hassle. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So total I mean, hassle. it's a great theory. It works, but it needs an upkeep for sure. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, this is very cozy. And it so, is. do you guys sleep, uh, sleep side to side? Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. sleep this way. It's just long enough for us to fit we're both i'm i mean we're both pretty tall people so, yeah but it fits perfectly we didn't do any like heavy insulation so if you you see the ribs over here yep so we put this insulation and then just put the paneling in between so that way we can actually fit if we would put paneling over the ribs we would be able to sleep this way gotcha so, you'd have to do some kind of diagonal, diagonal thing or something thing. yeah yeah, yeah. Yep. We, we stick to warm climates we don't go anywhere that's yeah. even close to freezing yep. yeah night, same so. yeah. yeah and then this is our bed we build it with pvc piping oh that's right i've never yep, seen that PVC in the video piping and then just plywood and then the mattress and then yep. we put a bunch of holes in the plywood so it ventilates excellent excellent so, yep. yeah and that's super light super cheap pvc just yep. uh hacksaw and glue and pretty much yeah that's it so super, super rad super easy. and then underneath we just have a bunch of storage just big containers where we store like you know winter clothes and camping stuff and like our gear and stuff mm -hmm. and cameras or whatever and then our battery is down there in that box down there mm -hmm. and then inverter is underneath there and yeah, I think that's it. Sweet. And this is uh, like the closet, closet clothes. Closet, clothes, and then this is our like brains. If you want to talk, you want to talk about this. The, the brain. The brain of so, the operation. <laughs> this is a solar controller, which uh, we don't have solar. Right, we have solar panels, but we can't figure out how to mount them yet. And uh, there's a fuse box you kind of see from this area. Oh yeah. There's a fuse yeah. box back there, and uh, controllers for all the lights and stuff. Yep. yep. So that's kind of like the little kinda central messy, but... <laughs> area for that. Fun. Yeah. And I had a, uh, a guitar cab down here and a bass amp, and then I had a guitar amp in here. So I had that, and then I stored a guitar in here, two guitars in here. But so I took them out, and I'm going to put those in the Astro now. I'm so impressed with how much stuff you guys can fit, like, in a van. Right? Yo, here I am thinking, like, oh, I'm in a bus, like, oh, I need more space. But, like, van, <laughs> van true van lifers get so creative and, um, you know, minimalism at its finest, really, yeah. you know? I mean, we do have so. quite a bit of stuff in this van. Like, yeah. We have a lot. Yeah, I mean, for, like, a, you know, yeah. you know. A small space like this this is great yeah. and then it's extra storage because of the pop top so and then a couple yeah, vent we have fans two max air roof fans so we'll have one second air in one second air out and carries nice. amazing airflow so yeah. it's nice and cool in here all the time so That's yeah cool. they have uh thermostats on them too so like before you go to bed at night you can turn on the thermostat and have that one in the back blow air right on you in the morning when oh it gets nice yeah and then this one you set a couple degrees warmer for, you know it's going to be really hot and that'll suck all the air out which also comes from the front because we'll have like the two front windows cracked with the mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you can see the window uh, louvers I guess they're called oh Spoilers? yeah I don't know what they're called these things so we can leave these windows cracked all the time nice that's uh super super nice excellent that dude storage thanks. over there yeah so. thanks for the tour yeah for sure um and so and so great uh, hanging out with you guys yeah. and um. The reason they are here is because Seven hit, I think, all of us up, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of coordinated. So we had this, like, group meetup. Tons of people get, came down. 
Um, so it's, yeah, it's just fun to have like an all-in-one sort of thing. I mean, I think we should do this more often. I do too. Yeah. I, was, yeah. I was telling her that earlier. Yeah, every so every state we go in, we should we should have a little meetup. Group you know? meetup or something. Yeah, yeah, like with other, you know, so then more people just come in general and can, mm-hmm. you know, it's almost like a little mini RTR of sorts. Yeah. 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 All right. Now, I don't know if we said hello to Seven yet, but let's go say hello to Seven. Hello, Seven. Yeah. What's going on, dude? shutting my doors. (laughs) So I didn't watch your video last night when I was picking up Michael, but Seven just ripped out a bunch of stuff. Now why? 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 I want want the breaking news, the sneak peek. Because I got a new mattress. Awesome. That's why everything had to be taken apart. Holy crap. So basically what happened was I discovered that the memory foam mattress that I had, which was six inches thick, yeah. It was causing all this hip pain to where I was having massive pain in my hips and I couldn't walk more than 45 minutes without limping. And so my friend Paul said, do you want me to turn off the music? Oh, no, it's fine. Okay. My friend Paul said, why don't you try this other mattress and see if it works better for you. Just sleep on it here in the garage. So I slept in his garage one night. It was yeah. fabulous. And he said, well, why don't you put it in your rig for a while, sleep in it for a week and see how it is. So I slept in it. Uh, on this mattress in my rig for a week and loved it huh. and the uh, hip pain started going away and yeah. I was feeling so much better and that was like three weeks ago and it's just fabulous but the new mattress was 10 inches thick so I went from 40 inches high plus 6 inches my mattress was here up to about here oh my god and now all of a sudden I only have this much room <laughs> to the ceiling and I was having trouble crawling up. I couldn't get on top of the step because yep. my mattress is 50 inches up and I'd have to <laughs> throw myself sideways into it. So I'm like, okay, I've got to pull, I've got to lower the bed. Yeah. So the problem was the kitchen cabinets are attached to the bed frame. Oh. So I had to take down the kitchen cabinets to get the bed frame. Is that is that all your, everything? That's everything over here. And the uh, benches that I had the fridge inside of were too tall because of the height of the fridge. And so I'm like, well, I've got to rebuild one of the benches and lower the benches. And so I'm changing the benches. I've got to take apart the kitchen. I had to take apart the garage and the bed. And this is what's left. <laughs> Seven. So I, the new mattress. This. what caused it. Well, you know how the van life is glamorized with people, certain people on Instagram and whatever. This is the reality. Yes. Sometimes you got to take it all apart. Right. So, yep. anyways, thanks for the dose of reality, Seven. And yeah. thank you for organizing today. It was probably one of the funnest, like, meetups with us and meetups with other people that I think I've ever been to. Because, like, we got to visit with everybody. Uh, subscribers, other people with channels, people who just love buses. It, w- it was fun. So, thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you for making it out. And thanks for showing off your new bus. Oh, yeah. Well, my pleasure. You'll see it soon when it's done. <laughs> it's so much different. What? Is it nice? Like good different? Oh no no, it's good. It just mine mine's a lot more like Oh like I sit, yeah. I sit on. I, I don't know. I think it's adjustable, I'm not sure. Uh, Probably. We can um, figure out that. Anyways, so I had a fantastic, honestly, great time out here. Very intimate. The thing I like about the smaller meetups is that you can get to know people one on one, face to face, um, and see people behind, you know, who's behind the 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 account, the channel, the comment, the like, etc. And um, actually, we're heading to, I just, you can see the car, but there's a car. We're going to follow the, some very nice uh, subscribers came out. We actually, we both met them at the Tiny House Festival. Yeah, back in September. That's or, right. Yeah, September. October? September. I don't remember. September. Um, very nice couple. And um, uh, heading back north and I said, hey, do you want to you know, go for happy hour thing and appetizers and all that stuff? So we are heading out. I'm letting... Big Mike, drive the bus. Uh, I don't let people drive my buses. Not because I, not because I don't trust people, but you don't trust driving me. a bus is different than driving a car. And so I just, yeah. But he's a pro. Yeah. So um, I, I've, I've done about 30, 35,000 miles in my school bus. <laughs> so I have, I know a thing or two about driving the All right. air brakes. Fire this thing up. We gotta let it, you know, click. Yes. Yeah. Click, click, click. Anyways, uh, battery's about to die. I appreciate you for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.